Hello and welcome to day two of the free video training on how to build lean sexy muscle, lose body fat and end diet confusion. Now, if you haven't had the chance to watch video one, just go back in the email yesterday and have a look there. Uh, I'll actually link it in the email that you're going to receive with this video so you can have another look. And it's all about can you actually build muscle and lose fat at the same time and uh, what are the difference between the two and how you should be approaching whether, uh, whether you want to build muscle or whether you want to lose fat or, or whether you want to do both. And today I'm going to talk about um, training programs and uh, should you do any training as long as you enjoy it and as long as you know it's some kind of body movement or should you stick to a structured program. Now my favorite answer to everything, <laughs> there's so many things that you can answer with, it depends. And the truth being is because it really depends on what your personal goal is. If you are striving to just be healthy, just to move your body in a different way and just to be able to, um, you know, just be more active and try various exercises, then by all means, go out and, you know, just do any time of exercise as long as you're moving and as long as you're getting your heart rate up and you are engaging different muscle groups, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, if your goal is to reshape your body and to build a little bit more muscle and to lose body fat, um, then it's very important that you actually follow some kind of structure. And that doesn't mean that, you know, it has to be something religiously where you have to follow that program like day in, day out, uh, which is still an awesome thing to do. But you need to have a, be a benchmark of how you can progress. Because here is the thing. Um, if you are looking to build muscle, then your body, first of all, will adapt really quickly to different stimuli. What that means is that um, if you do the same type of exercises, and uh, what I mean by that is if you continue with the same weight, if you continue with the same reps, if you can continue with the same number of sets, then eventually your body is a very clever machine and is going to do everything in its power to preserve energy. This is the main thing for survival mode. So it's going to start adapting to that stimuli and is not going to be burning and using as much energy as before. So what that potentially is going to mean is that say, for example, you've been using about, I don't know, 300 calories for a certain exercise, a certain training day, then in about four weeks time, your body is probably going to use only half of that if you haven't changed anything. So, I'm not, okay, I'm going to jump out a little bit of this uh, topic um, just to uh, really clarify something. Your your exercise, your training should not be seen as uh, a mean to uh, get yourself in a calorie deficit. Your training should be scheduled in a way to get you stronger, uh, to get you, um, you know, to, to build more muscle, to, uh, for, you should be training for hypertrophy, potentially, and, um, you know, if, if you're training for a different type of, of event, then that should be taken into an account as well. What I wanted to say was, depending on how many calories you're burning per exercise, it's just simply to show you, you know, how your body can really quickly adjust. So, a uh, bottom line is, if you want to lose fat, then, that should come from your diet and uh, you should be in a calorie deficit to lose fat. Um, that shouldn't come from your training, you know, and you can throw in cardio training and different types of HIIT training. And um, why it's also important to um, work on, on a workout, well, work on a workout, have a workout uh, that is programmed to get you stronger, to get you fitter, um, to have, you know, variety of rep ranges in it so you can build strength and from then on you can build on that strength. You have that benchmark where you can actually start moving up. Now, a lot of my girls, the girls that I train in my Eat 8 program, start with that kind of training because I really want to develop the foundations um, to get you more used to that kind of exercise, to really build up your strength 
And from then on, we can start shifting things around depending on how the body reacts and we go through various programs. But bottom line is, it's very important to uh, train in all the rep ranges pretty much, to cover the basics, that will be your deadlift, your squat, your hip thrust to really build your lower body. It will be overhead press, different types of rows. You know, these are very important exercises and I'm not going to get to, to do like, you know, the, there's some crazy exercise that you're going to see someone, you know, just doing a one-legged a one squat on a bossu ball. That, that's, just, that's just crazy. I mean, this type of training is done by people who have trained for many, many, many years and they've developed that kind of ability and balance and uh, core strength and body strength where they can actually go ahead and try the crazy shit. But for someone who is really looking to build their body, to build their physique, those kind of exercises might, act, might actually be more harmful than helpful. So really choose how what you're going to do and how you're going to choose the exercises. Also, another very important thing is the more uh, multi, um, multi muscle, multi joint type of exercise it is, the more difficult that exercise is. And what that means is if you are not familiar with the basic exercises, then doing those kind of exercises can really uh, lead you to an injury. So building, you know, build a foundation first, get strong in like the major lifts. And then from then on, if you wanna go crazy and start doing different exercises, at least you've covered the basics. So you know how to engage different muscle groups at the same time. I hope that makes sense. So this is the bottom line of whether you should be creating different uh, training every single week or every single day, whether you should be just moving your body. As I mentioned earlier, by all means, if that's your, that's your goal, then there is absolutely nothing wrong. But if you want to start seeing some results in your body composition, then having a structured program is very important. It's, you know, it's okay for a newbie if you've never, you know, done any exercise before, but the longer time you've actually been in the gym, the longer time you've spent in the gym, then it's going to be more difficult to uh, change your body shape. So we'll need, you will need to have structure. So that's it for today. Very simple and basic, very short. I hope it, you know, it, it helped you make the decision about how you should be approaching training and exercise. And tomorrow we are going to talk about how to shift your mindset into creating healthier habits, whether that's anything to do with exercise or with food or your relationship with food, connection to how you eat. And make sure that you come and check it out again. So if you haven't watched the video from yesterday, go back on the link and check that as well. And if you've got any questions, please send me a DM, DM <laughs> or email, DM, email, send me an email and I would love to answer that for you. Uh, and I will see you again tomorrow. Ciao.